During the 20th century, the sharpest decline in morality involved deaths of children under five years old, according to the Assessment on Human Health from the Copenhagen Consensus on Human Challenge. However, the pace of decline has been rapid in low- and middle-income countries, especially since 1950, that report said. Between 1990 and 2012, the number of under-five child deaths went from 90 deaths per 1,000 live births to 48 deaths per 1,000 live births, according to a 2013 report from UNICEF. The Copenhagen report found these trends are likely to continue, with the rate dropping to 31 per 1,000 live births in 2050 and even more dramatic declines in regions like Africa. The factors behind this decline include prevention of mother-to-child transmission of HIV, immunization against diseases, insecticide-treated nets to control diseases like malaria, and micronutrients for children to prevent life-threatening deficiencies. And in today's video, we're going to give you a brief overview on how Earth will look like in 2050. Without further ado, let's begin! Subscribe for latest updates about tech industry. The future is now. We'll all have vaccines and cures for many diseases. While we can't know what will threaten our bodies in the future, cures and vaccines for current diseases and illnesses will surely improve by 2050. Researchers are confident that within 20 years, they can design a vaccine to stop the spread of HIV, which currently kills anywhere from 1.5 million to 2 million people per year. That's according to Martin Wazelka, consultant in infectious diseases at the University Hospitals of Leicester, NHS Trust, as reported in the Daily Mirror. To be sure, we've had troubles coming up with a traditional vaccine to prevent HIV in the past. However, scientists are making big strides in understanding how our immune system interacts with the virus. While treatment already exists for malaria, which kills 1 million people a year, many organizations are working to eradicate the disease entirely. Some remain hopeful for a vaccine, while others go to the source by genetically engineering mosquitoes carrying the parasite to self-destruct. By 2050, humans could be live forever as computerized brains. In the coming decades, some scientists hope to upload the contents of human brains into computers, allowing people to live forever inside a robotic body or even as a hologram. Neuroscientist Randall Cohen and Russian financial backer Dmitry Itzkov are trying to transfer human consciousness and brain function to an artificial body by 2045 by mapping the brain, reducing its activity to computations, and reproducing those computations in code, according to Popular Science. Cohen said his work isn't just about achieving immortality, it's about giving people the ability to go places and do things that are impossible in our own bodies, like traveling close to the sun. Even if we don't meet that goal by 2050, people alive today may still have their brains uploaded in the future. That's because other scientists are working on preserving human brains and all their contents indefinitely through immersion in chemical solutions. There will be no more poor countries. By 2035, there will be no more poor countries, Bill Gates wrote earlier this year. By 2050, the development of countries around the world will be that much farther along. Already, 700 million fewer people lived in extreme poverty in 2010 than they did in 1990, and the rate of improvement has also slowly increased since the turn of the century. Extreme poverty was defined as $1 a day in 1990, but was redefined as $1.25 a day in 2008. Today, the World Bank has set a new goal, lowering the number of people living in extreme poverty to no more than 3% of the population by 2030. Gates says increased foreign aid will play a key role in eradicating poverty on a global scale. Jeffrey D. Sachs, special advisor of the United Nations Secretary General, calls for a new kind of mixed capitalism to eliminate poverty, combining disease control, public education, and the promotion of new science and technology with private market forces. He points to part of Africa, where the introduction of cell phones combined with better malaria control has slashed rural poverty. If you are enjoying the video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos just like this. Artificial intelligence will be insanely good. The rise of artificial intelligence AI, could generally be a good thing, assuming there isn't a Terminator scenario. 
While robots could replace some workers, it's important to remember that past innovations have unlocked whole new industries and new jobs along with them. The rise of AI could do the same. What's more, think how much better robots could make our world. Hans Moravec of Carnegie Mellon University Robotics Institute predicts that by 2050, freely moving robots will outperform humans both physically and intellectually, will run entire businesses by themselves. That could allow humans to occupy their days with a variety of social, recreational, and artistic pursuits, not unlike today's comfortable retirees or the wealthy leisure classes, he wrote in Scientific America. It could also lead to new breakthroughs, as mass-produced, fully educated robot scientists working diligently, cheaply, rapidly, and increasingly effectively will ensure that most of what science knows in 2050 will have been discovered by our artificial progeny. Robots could also provide people with emotional sustenance. In Love and Sex with Robots, AI researcher David Levy predicts that by 2050, there would be human-like robots with their own emotions and the capability to hold intelligent conversations and, yes, relationships with people. We will have the ability to rely almost exclusively on renewable, clean energy. If this world invests enough in clean energy, we will be able to rely almost entirely on renewable energy by 2050, cutting energy sector greenhouse gas emissions by 80%, according to World Wildlife Fund WWF, report. It is technically feasible to supply everyone on the planet in 2050 with the energy they need, with 95% of this energy coming from renewable sources, the report said. The report stresses, however, that this will only be possible if we sufficiently commit ourselves now to work towards that goal. The achievement of that goal does not demand radical change to the way we live, according to the WWF report. The changes involve technologies already available, which cost more than 2% of global GDP and take into account increases in population and travel. Cars could be vastly safer, smarter, and cleaner. In the next decade, major car makers expect to release cars with self-driving features such as steering, parking, gear shifting, and braking, the Milken Institute predicts. Experts say most driverless cars will occupate entirely without a human occupant's control by 2035. Driverless cars will be safer because they can draft close behind other vehicles and eliminate human error, which caused 90% of car accidents, according to the Milken Institute. In the US, driverless cars could result in 4.95 million fewer accidents, 30,000 fewer deaths, and 4.8 billion fewer commuting hours. They will also save Americans $500 billion per year in costs of car accidents, fuel, and lost productivity, according to the Milken Institute. In the meantime, confidence in driverless cars is growing. 57% of people worldwide and 60% of Americans trust them. The internet will reach every corner of the world. In The World We Made, Forum for the Future founder Jonathan Porritt predicts that by 2050, more than 8 billion people will go online, 97.5% of the population then. Currently, about 40% of the globe has internet access, with 78% of users in developed countries and 32% in developing countries. That's about 2.85 billion people, many of whom get internet access through mobile phones. Endeavors like Google's Project Loon and Internet.org specifically focus on bringing the web to areas where people don't yet have it. So guys, let me know down in the comments section below, what are your thoughts about it? For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video!